and welcome back to the channel. Today is a Zara haul. We have not been shopping in real life for absolutely ever. I can't even remember the last time we went shopping that wasn't online. And so we thought we would go and have a little look in the Zara store and see what they have. We are aware that they don't necessarily have the same things in every single Zara store, but um, so there are a few things that we might have seen online that weren't in there. However, we picked up some bits that we like the look of and we thought we would try them on with you guys. We obviously have purchased them all already, but let us know if you don't like anything, if you do like anything, if you have any other ideas for how to style them, because we're going to put together some outfits now and um, let's see how it goes. So first up is this little green crochet top. We really love this. This is a very springy item to me. It's like a cropped length so it can go with maybe jeans or even a skirt and we love green as you guys know so this is just really cool it's a crochet pattern which is also another really good style for spring because it's kind of a little bit warm but also a little bit summery so this is our first item we're going to show you how we style the items once we've talked you through each one okay so this is the first white and green crochet top on so everything we're going to be styling today that we got from Zara, we're going to put with things that we already have in our wardrobe. So we haven't planned it already, but we'll just chuck stuff on as we go. So with this, we obviously just took the colours in the top and made this green and cream look with matching bags. Obviously, Liv's look is nothing new, but we've got to keep the duo look going. So that's how our brains work, putting it together in looks of for both of us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just a square neckline, little sleeve, and then um, the sort of tie detail at the front. And I do think that it's quite cute, but let us know what you think. I feel like this is the first shop we've done that's like spring clothes properly. Yeah, it um, is. So I'm getting pretty excited about it. I think that's cute for spring. And just to briefly run you through the rest of the look in case you were interested, these are our Remain green trousers that you've seen many times before come in handy for a green look. And then I've just got this Prada bag. And then to match Alice, I'm wearing this, it's a little green top from H&M. And we got it ages ago and for some reason it just seems to be worn all the time. <laughs> I'm wearing it with these Cezanne cream trousers. We absolutely love these. We need them taken off actually, they're a bit long for us. But um, this detail down here is so cute. And then I have got my little Manu Atelier green bag. So there we are, that's our first little matching look. Next up, we have some long pink wide leg trousers. You might be thinking we already own quite a few like this, but we actually don't. And it's one thing we keep saying that we really need a pink trouser. We had some a while ago, but they're a bit old now and don't fit us quite so well. So we did want a replacement of those. And these seem to be perfect. We did try on the size above and they were too big, so we didn't then try on this size. We just hope that it fits. Um, but yeah, just a classic pale pink. This is gonna go with everything, but let's try these on so you can get a better look at how they fit. So these are the pink trousers. As we mentioned, I tried on, no, I, yeah, I tried on a medium and they were massive. So we got the small and didn't try them on. So now this is the first try on, but they are fine. They're just a tiny bit big around the waist. Um, whereas Zara usually does come up small I think so this is the opposite way around if you're usually a small these are a bit bigger fit but they are really nice and they feel slightly linen-y and quite smart I've got these pink Kat McConey shoes I love the heel of these on with them and the length is really good with a heel and then I've got this little H&M studio little top which is actually backless with them and then this Amy Lynn trench we've just received this this week and it is so cool we're obsessed so yeah, I really like this look for spring. And Alice is wearing... And just to go with Liv, obviously not Zara, but even though if they had done a blazer in those trousers, that would have been a really nice suit, I think. They're a lovely material. Um, but yeah, these, you've just seen them before. They are Lumina trousers. It's the same shoes as Olivia. They're new to us. We actually love these. Um, and then just a little ASOS top and an ASOS blazer for one of our fave combos. Do we say that all the time? <laughs> uh, pink and beige. Next up is this little yellow tank top. This is one of our favourite colours and we actually don't have a little yellow top but we do have some new yellow shoes and we really wanted something in a bold sunshine yellow to match the shoes so when we saw this, this was um, this was 5 .99. And they had a whole range of colours, I think they had a yeah. blue, a pink but we had already have similar so we thought the yellow the green they had loads of colours so this is just the colour we needed and yeah hopefully it looks really good with our shoes. 
Okay, so next up, we're actually really liking this combo. The inspo being the outfit we're wearing at the beginning of the video, but slightly different with this darker yellow. Don't know how you feel about the grey and yellow, but we're actually really liking it. So it is the little tank top that Liv's wearing. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I, I'm so pleased with this 5.99 tank top. I cannot tell you because it just means that we've got more bright yellow options for da -da -da, our favourite yellow suit that we always wear and that we always go on about and that we've done a whole TikTok about more than a million times. So um, we've paired the yellow suit with these ASOS trousers. They're kind of gathered at the top. These are actually new that online now. Um, I'm really pleased with these as well. I love them. I haven't tried them on yet. Um, and then I've also got. Bright yellow Kat McConney shoes like the Can I just ones. do a close up of these? Yeah, because I'm not to really. Um, and again, they're the perfect they're so yellow good. to the tank top. So that's what we had in mind. Love and it's so worked much. out. And then, yeah, I've got the yellow blazer and I've got, <laughs> the, pa I've got the pale grey Valenciaga bag, which is the right exact colour of my trousers. So. I'm really loving the yellow and grey. Let us know if you like the yellow and grey or if you're not sure, but I, we really, really like it. And then Alice is wearing... Yeah, so just, again, to go with, not from Zara, but our very well-worn... <laughs> I say that about every item, but it's true. Uh, ASOS collusion trousers. Then I just got a little Skims bra on. Ideally, I would have that little yellow top and a grey, but I don't think they had a grey. So, yeah, just a Skims bra... Um, this Jacquemus bag that we got this week from Moni Frere and then a grey blazer which has got a bit of a pinstripe to it and is also ASOS. Ideally could have done with it being a little shade lighter to go with the lips trousers but um, that's They that. have some good tailoring on ASOS don't they at the moment? Always. I think they always have good do. suits and really affordable so yeah check them out. But this is our little yellow top. I spotted this little white slash cream, no, probably white set, which is a denim material. And I thought, as you know, we like to wear kind of half and half of a little set or suit each. I thought this might be perfect for styling with a colour. So maybe a bright pink or, well, any colour really. And also it's just been Coachella. So inspo for that that we sadly missed this year. Maybe like cowboy boots mm. would go with the look of... Um, the top half that's got sort of little hook and eyes down the front um but it does slightly go down at the front which is not olivia's favorite shape for a skirt so we'll have to try this on and see how it looks as a duo look okay this is the little white set on not quite as colorful as some of our looks but we really really wanted to wear it with these red cowboy boots that we've got and we absolutely love they're so comfortable um, cowboy boots are having a moment at the moment but we always have worn cowboy boots like just since forever um, and then we've got little red bags to match so this is the top I quite like this this kind of works with a high-waisted trouser it does go quite high up the side yeah you kind of I mean you don't have to have a high-waisted trouser but I personally if you feel more comfortable being a bit more covered up then. and these are high-waisted although you can pull them down but I think I sort of prefer them to sit on my waist where they naturally sit these are from Urban Outfit just by the way pinstripe suit little red bag from ASOS I do like that the because it's denim it's a bit thicker it feels a bit more um, substantial yeah and sort of vintage maybe yeah it does it feels yeah. like this this whole look is giving me vintage vibes really and then yeah mine's just the same but the reverse option I've got the skirt on how do you feel about the hem being down at the front i actually like it i think the skirt length is quite short it is quite I short like. i yeah we like a short skirt but i feel like i haven't worn anything that short in a while so it's feeling a bit short but i actually quite like it and then just the um top half of the urban outfitters pinstripe suit as liv said not as colorful as always but just because we have white cowboy boots and red so we thought um be really fun to wear the red ones and then paired it with if we both got kate spade no you've got another one but mine's from asos asos and then mine is a kate spade bag so yeah i think we'll definitely also do this white set with some more pops of color but fuchsia or green why not this one's a little bit different let us know what you think this, this was needs actually, to steam. <laughs> this needs to steam. This was actually Alice's choice because last year we had a black and a white top. And a cream. We had three. And a cream with, well we still have them somewhere, mm. with um, padded sleeves from Zara. And Alice particularly quite often wore them. Actually I've got the white one in my room at the moment. But basically they're really flattering if Just you tuck useful. in. useful. Yeah, because of those sort of big... Um, what do you call it? Shoulder pads in the top. 
when you tuck this in with a pair of shorts or trousers it sort of looks really flattering with like the big shoulders and then accentuates the waist if you know what I mean by that mm. so I think Alice thought that they were really a good staple and when a we really saw really good just good, just easy to throw under anything really yeah so when we saw this one in pink obviously we had to get the pink one and this was 15 99 so that's quite a good price really isn't it um, yeah, we'll probably, we could style this with so many different things that we've currently got because obviously we love pink, but we'll show you what we're going to style it with. So this is the little Zara tank top, um, really just easy wearer. Like I mentioned, Alice really liked how the shoulder pads were quite sort of sticky outy, so then it's sort of the silhouette is from the shoulders into the waist. And I think if you're someone that's conscious of your arms, but if it's summer and you want to have them out because of the weather, then... Well, personally, I feel more comfortable having the bigger shoulders in the way that you're saying for that silhouette. Yeah. And then, so I basically paired it with these um, Natasha Zenko cargo pants and then the same pink shoes that I seem to be wearing every single second at the moment because I love them so much from Cap Connie. And Alice is wearing a little outfit to complement it. So yeah, just um, H&M, Nasty Girl, and then the Natasha Zinko, as we always say, putting it as a gilet. We were going to do a green and pink outfit, but we thought we'd have a few green bits, so we just tried to do pink with something a little bit different, so this turquoise. Yeah, I quite like um, the view. Another random point about that top, even though it is just a basic, but um, is that for the hot weather as well, because I already have worn the others before, is because it comes quite low here, it doesn't feel sort of like tighten up round your arms. I know that sounds silly, but it, yeah, but it's <laughs> quite actually a key point when you're yeah. buying these summer staples. That is true, and it feels quite sort of, the air could get airy. In. Yeah. <laughs> So all in all, this is a real winner. Like, do they even have any other colours maybe we should be getting? I even thought about getting another white one. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah, this is it with the with the turquoise and we just really like it. And finally, another green item, this little crochet vest top. Um, I think we noticed a couple of these things actually are more sort of basics in terms of they can go with lots. But with a twist, so like yeah. a kind of a plain top, but then because it's crochet, it's a little bit different than just a plain tank top necessarily. Just because quite often we would buy a bit more alternative, unique pieces, and then we're like, where are the staples that are going to go with them? In particular, little tops, Quite, we have quite a lot of shirts or blazers, and coming into spring, we wanted more sleeveless things for hopefully the warmer weather. Um, and obviously we have loads of green, so... And it's such a good green. This will go This is so a really much. good green, isn't it? It's like a really bright apple green, which yeah. we've said before we love. So, not sure how we're going to style it yet, but let's give it a go. And finally, this green top, we thought we would mix it up a little bit colour-wise and put it with a colour we haven't already. So, green and orange, which you may have seen us wear before. I think this top's just self-explanatory, really. Quite easy. This is how long it is, tucked out, comfortable. I do like the crochet, and I do, as we said, specifically like this strong apple shade of green. Yeah, I love it. This little set is from Stradivarius. Yeah, I think you might have seen us wear something similar to the Kardashian Premier. So yeah, Stradivarius trousers. And then again, sorry you can't see our shoes, we're going to have to work on this angle. But these Lisa Says Gar shoes, we absolutely love, and they're very comfortable. They're so cute. They have some clock they? platform. Um, so yeah, that's my look, and then just to go with, you're falling over now, I just did that, just to go with Alice, I have got the Romain Berg Christensen green leather trousers on, which I also really like, so I'm a kind of pleather all together, and I like it, I like wearing full, like a leather look outfit, so yeah, here we are. So that is it, everything we got from Zara today. We just really wanted to show you it styled with pieces we already owned in our wardrobe because I made Alice laugh by saying this earlier, but it's true. Um, when we used to go shopping with our mum and she always used to say in the store, but what would you wear it with when I was like picking yeah. up something like, you have to irrelevant? Think, I think other people will say this, but you have to think of at least sort of, well, 10 is probably quite a lot, but things that you would style it with. At least Otherwise you'll get at home and you'll be going, oh, like, no, oh, I, I really like it, it, but I don't have anything to go with it. So we always try and make sure we can kind of think of at least a few things that we could pair things with. And it's easier if you do already have bright coloured items, but even if it's not a bright coloured item, it's sometimes I've bought stuff and I've just thought, oh, I just can't wear it with anything. So there we go. We styled it with a few pieces we already own and hopefully you guys like the outfits. Let us know if you did like anything and anything that you weren't so keen on. Um, and also, if you enjoy hauls, if there's any other shops that you particularly like that we could maybe go around um, now that we're back shopping again and do another haul for you, just let us know and we'll see you next week. Bye!